Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okay, we proceed our lesson with chapter 5 which is polymer morphology. What is polymer morphology? It is all about polymer structure including crystallinity, branching and molecular weight together with the structure. As supplied to polymers, morphology involves the study of the arrangement of polymer molecules into crystalline and amorphous regions. Polymers with higher crystallinity are denser, stiffer, harder, tougher, and more resistant to solvent. While for amorphous, it has a flexibility and promotes ease of processing below the melting temperature. This is some um, figure of morphology. Okay, first section we look at the growth of crystallites. What is the growth of crystallites? It is the uh, morphology form. Polymer crystallize into various morphological form which this include single crystal to polycrystalline spherulite formation. So the comparison of the size of crystallites, spherulites and single crystal is shown below. You can see that the molecules has um, 2 to 5 angstrom and the maximum size is 10 to the power of 3 um, to 10 to the power of 5. For single crystal it has a 100 angstrom while for spherulite it has a 10 to the power of 5 to 10 to the power of 7. So it can reach the maximum size more than 10 to the power of 7. Okay, this figure is the polyethylene single crystal produce uh, a crystal at the point diamond shape here so it is uh, our scientist scientist named Keller it prepared a single crystal of polyethylene by precipitate from dilute solution of hot xylene so it has produced crystal body with perpendicular to large flat surface of crystal. So Keller uh, conclude, conclude that polymer molecule in the crystal have to be folded. So uh, this image is obtained by crystallization from solution in, by using the atomic force microscopy which is AFM. So PE crystallized from solution can can form beautiful crystal. Here is an electron micrograph of a stack of PE chain folded crystal that have grown on top of each other. The symmetry is incredible when you think that these crystals are formed from one of the most flexible polymer chain in the world. Okay, let's look at the first um, which is a single crystal, polymer single crystal. Okay, first, crystal, see, crystal structure is the periodic arrangement of polymer chain in crystallites of semi crystalline polymer. So, it is result when polymer are crystallized from dilute solution. Okay, so it is first discovery. Uh, growing of single crystal lamella by cooling hot dilute solution of polyethylene in silane. So, uh, when uh, polyethylene is uh, dilute in silane solution, hot silane solution, it will form a dilute solution of polymer and in silane solvent. So, when observed under electron micrograph, it shows that this crystal appeared to have a flat diamond type shape. Later, it was demonstrated that in solution, these crystals are actually more like 
hollow pyramids and the flat shape is due to a collapse upon drying. Okay, this uh, figure, okay, you can see A. A is the crystal structure. So, in crystalline state, some parts of each polymer are regularly arranged with three-dimensional order to form crystal. So, the crystal structure of a polymer is governed by both intramolecular forces and intermolecular forces. So, the molecular conformation is mainly determined by intramolecular forces. Okay, for example, it is known that polyethylene um, form a zigzag, okay, zigzag conformation, whereas isotactic PP, it has a helical conformation due to the steric repulsion between side substituent, which is depend on tacticity, rigidity, bulkiness of side chain, and so on. So, after the formation of crystal structure, it will begin a crystal lamella, which is the um, crystal lamella is here. Okay. Crystal lamella is the crystalline hormone polymer and generally form a lamella morphology, which is an alternating structure, consists of crystalline and amorphous. So this layer is made up of crystal with a typical thickness of several nanometers. Okay. So dalam ni, yang ni kita panggil crystal lamella. Yang ni adalah single structure. So, dalam crystal lamella ni, dia ada amorphous dengan crystalline. Bergantung kepada ada punya ketinggian ataupun thickness dia. So, uh, crystal lamella ni, dia akan membentuk uh, lamella morphology. Okay. So, lamella morphology ni lah yang ada several thickness. Um, this layer ni, this layer is made up, made up of crystal with a typical thickness. Okay, dia buat layer banyak-banyak. So, ada dia punya thickness sendirilah, typical thickness dia. And then this is a spirulite. And this is the spirulite structure. Okay, we we'll look at the lamella chain folding first. In the People start crystallizing the newly available, which is Ziegler high-density polyethylene from dilute solution and absorb crystal like the one on the left. So, lamellar chain folding is a, we can uh, discuss by using chain folded model. Many polymer crystallize as very thin platelets or lamella. So the idea is the chain fall back and forth within an individual plate, which is by using chain folded model. This is the thickness of the uh, crystal. Polymer chain can fold it back on themselves, contributing several adjacent linear chain segment. Okay, they can fold it back. Uh, antara sebelah-sebelah uh, link by fold at the crystallite surface so the molecular segment between crystallites are in amorphous phase thus each molecule contribute to both the order and disorder phase so lamella chain folding consists of amorphous and crystalline region you can see that this is the amorphous region and this one is the crystal nucleus and this is the lamella fibrils. Okay. So this one is the order structure and this one is in, in order structure. In between the crystalline lamella, there are regions where there is no order to the arrangement of the polymer chain. These disorder regions are the amorphous region. So the crystalline portion is in the 
lamella in the amorphous portion is outside the lamella. So the crystalline and amorphous phase are intimately uh, linked. Neighboring crystalline are linked via tie chain. The linkage between crystallites and amorphous phase are very important because it serves to tie the phase together, giving semi-crystalline polymer high strength and toughness. It can be used in such application which is drainage part, chemical storage, tanks and so on. Okay, we can see that this is the um, polymer chain uh, and this is the crystal crystallites. Okay. Tight surface. Structure, 3D structure for isotactic PP. So, isotactic PP, it has a helical conformation. Okay, it has a helical conformation due to the steric repulsion between the side substituent. Okay, so depend on it tacticity, rigidity, and, uh, number of side chain. So first step is the formation of crystal. And then the crystal will become a lamella chain folding. And then uh, become a spirulite. Okay, this is the lamella form during crystallization from the melt. Schematic two dimensional representing of model of the full surface in polymer lamella. A is the sharp hole. B the switchboard model, C is the loose loop with adjacent re-entry and D is a combination of several features. Okay, spirulite. Spirulite is the fundamental unit of structure formed by crystalline polymer which is accessible using optical microscope. Spirulite, the aggregates of polymer crystallites. This the structure of a spirulite uh, can be observed by using optical microscope. Especially when polymer crystallize from the melt, they are usually super cooled to greater or less. So, um, when polymer crystallize from melt, the structure is called as a spirulite. So, this is a spirulite which is the sphere, sphere uh, shaped crystallite. Crystalline, uh, crystalline structure from in a box. Okay, dia macam bentuk sphere, banyak-banyak uh, bentuk sphere. So kita panggil sebagai sphere. It is very easy to grow and can observe in the lab. Okay, this is a structure of spirulite. So this is the propylene brand spirulite observed in polarized light. This is a film of a blend of PP with poorly tactic and effectively non-crystallizable PP was melted and cooled to 130 degrees C and held at the temperature for about one hour. So here the spirulite center are all in the films. So the concept is kita kena meltkan polymer tu dulu. Macam contoh dia PP dengan uh, kita kita blend of PP with poly uh, tactic and effectively non crystallizable polypropylene kita meltkan PP tu dulu and then kita kena sejukkan dia okay so biasa PC ataupun temperature for cooling uh, lower than the TM okay so lepas dia kita sejukkan dia baru kita boleh uh, observe dia punya crystal when look under polarized light, it looks like cross maltese or biofringence. How spirulite forms? This is a rough indication how a single lamella branches and then 
the separate branches split in three dimensional to form a 